first of all, I want to thank you for your patience. We'd like to uh, preface the news conference by requesting that you respect our willingness to inform the media to limited information that does not compromise the investigation. Uh, Ms. Amber Fry will make a brief statement and she will not answer any questions. Today, because of extensive efforts by some members of the media, Amber Fry was identified and contacted by reporters at her place of business. She notified the Modesto police and out of contact and this, her safety and privacy, uh, she is prepared to give a statement and she will not accept any uh, questions, Ms. Amber Fry. Okay, first of all, I met Scott Peterson November 20th, 2002. I was introduced to him. I was told he was unmarried. Scott told me he was not married. We did have a romantic relationship. When I discovered he was involved in the disappearance or the Lucy Peterson disappearance case, I immediately contacted the Modesto Police Department. Although I could have sold or sold the photos of Scott and I to tabloids, I knew this was not the right thing to do. For fear of jeopardizing the case or the police investigation, I will not comment further. sorry for Lacey's family and the, the pain that this has caused them and I pray for her safe return as well I would appreciate to my friends and acquaintances to refrain from talking about me to the media for a uh, profit or recognition um, I am a single mother of a 23 month old child and uh, I ask to respect my privacy. Thank you. Amber Fry had contacted Modesto Police Department on Monday, December 30th, 2002. She met with detectives and gave information about the relationship with Scott Peterson. This information was verified by a variety of means and Amber Fry has been cooperative in the investigation and has been eliminated as a suspect in Lacey Peterson's disappearance. For the near future, we've asked Ms. Fry not to make any statements to the media. It is her desire that you respect her privacy. Please don't follow, harass, or make any other attempts to interview her during the investigation. This concludes the press conference and uh, just a reminder again uh, as we have in the past we'll notify you if there's a significant event occur give you ample time to respond for a presser I will try to answer some questions but I'm still limited as I have been for the last month in my response we'll take we'll take hold on hold on hold on we'll take one question at a time and I'll decide who's gonna make it. yes sir F R E Y Amber. Yes, and you will have, uh, we will have a news release that should be available any second as soon as it comes down from Sears. Can you talk about, like, can you talk Lauren. about whether Scott was romancing her even after Lacey Again, that's going to be one of the areas that we're not going to go into. Yes. Did she tell you anything about where he was on Christmas Eve? Did they speak to each other? Uh, I don't have that information. Does she give the right here. Information? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She's 28 years old. Any other questions? The only information that we're giving out tonight is what we've already reported on and given in this press conference. We're not going to talk about any other information that she might be involved in as far as the investigation is concerned. So when was the last time that she spoke with Scott? Again, uh, we, we're not providing that information.
Investigators have a variety of ways that they've been able to eliminate her from the investigation. I can't. Um, I we're not going to go into any other anything pertaining to Amber and Scott Peterson. We will not be discussing any part of those other than what we talked about tonight. Yes, ma'am. Um, no, I don't. I don't remember that in her statement either. I read it before it came out here. Yes. She said that when she saw that Scott was involved in her disappearance, she called police. Did she just misspeak when she saw that he was the husband? Is that what she meant? You know. Her statement, I believe, said that uh, she did not believe that she did not know that Scott was married at the time that they had this relationship. That was her statement. Did they have any future yes. plans? Did she talk about that? No, no, not not that I'm aware of. Yes. Can you Again, again, uh, as we reported a minute ago, she's cooperated in the investigation, and we've eliminated her from. You know, we really do appreciate the media and, and all the effort and attention to help us find Lacey. You, you have been a tremendous help in getting the word out on Lacey. I do believe our entire nation and possibly most of the world is aware that Lacey Peterson is missing, and we want to find her. We want to find her and bring her home. Now, what this is starting to do is border on um, pretty close to being destructive. We're not going to discuss with you the in-depth part of this investigation. We're not going to discuss with you Lacey's, the investigation in Lacey. We're not going to discuss the relationships. We're not going to discuss where or when or how. We've given the information that we feel we need to give. And we need to give that information so that a, a young woman who had the courage to come forward and give us information will not be harassed as she tries to go on with her life. Why do you bring her forward today? Because media people located her and were contacting her. Is she from Fresno? I'm not going to discuss where she's from. The investigation is moving forward, and we will continue to move the investigation forward. Was Scott the one who told the detectives that he was involved with the girlfriend, or okay. was it her? Right, let me let me do this one more time. We are not going to talk about what we have been told. We're not going to talk about what people have said. We've given the information we can give. The investigation is going to continue. Yes, Ted. Did the family today asked Scott Peterson to cooperate completely with. I cannot. I won't. I won't comment on those things. The, okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to answer Ted's question. Okay, Ted. Ted. Lacey's family is going through a horrible time, and and you all saw Lacey's family today, and they are they are dealing with their life as a family. I am not going to comment about Scott. This department's not going to comment about Scott. We're not going to comment about the investigation. And so, I mean, we'll just, I know it's frustrating to you that we can't make this case a, a public understanding of everything that's involved. We cannot do that. It wouldn't be appropriate or right. So we're not going to talk about those things. Lacey's family has information that they've decided to share. I respect that. I, I appreciate what they're going through, and uh, you know their appeal today. Uh, you heard it. Okay. Now I'm going to go back here. Well, 
Well, that's our focus, is to solve this case and get Lacey home. You think you've been cleared as a suspect? Uh, She's uh, been eliminated as a suspect. suspect. Can you tell us based on what? No, I cannot. I won't discuss that. Are you, were the Rocha and Peterson families notified that she was going to come out tonight and speak publicly? Yes. You know, we're just not going to go down those paths, and we're not going to discuss those things. Uh, the investigation is continuing to move forward. We, I believe, when I checked just before coming down here, have received close to 4,500 tips on the tip line at this point in time. There, there are continuing information and leads as the investigation evolves that involve, evolves that we have to follow up on, and we're doing that. I don't, I don't believe there's a significant change uh, that I can articulate. Um, are we closer? I hope so. I don't know. Is Scott now considered a suspect? We have not eliminated Scott Peterson from this investigation. Do you know where he is now? I don't know. What about forensic evidence? Uh, we're, we're not going to, we're not going to discuss any of the evidence. Yes, this is still a missing persons case. Well, this is still a missing persons case. We would love to find Lacey alive and well and bring her home safe. Is the police department keeping tabs on where Scott's going? Where his, where We're not going to discuss that. What's her profession? Uh, who's? Amber. Not going to talk about that. We're not going to discuss Amber. Amber gave you her statement. You have the information that Amber was comfortable sharing with you. She's asked to have her privacy respected. We are going to do that. We're not going to comment about Amber, her private life, where she works, where she lives, any of those things. Amber wants to be able to go on with her life. How did Lacey's family learn about Amber? The question earlier was, did, did we talk with the family? Yes, we talked with the family. Are the police still conducting any searches uh, organized by the police, either inside or outside the county? We are continuing with searches. We're not disclosing where those searches are. And uh, yes, there are searches that are continuing. Okay, we, I, we've about wound it down. There's other things I need to do and that you all need to do. I, I do not want to leave you frustrated and angry. I do appreciate the help you've given us. The media has been critical to this investigation, getting the word out. Thank you for your patience.